De Oekraïnse dansleraar Anastasia gaf zaterdag een dansworkshop aan dansers van Dansschool Korma. Anastasia is naar Nederland gevlucht en kon met deze workshop geld ophalen voor haar verblijf. Hoe kwam je op het idee om dansressen te organiseren? Uh, actually, it's a very interesting question because uh, I just came to the Alkmaar and I started to, um, you know, like find some pages of dance, sport, etc. And everyone started to share my number to everyone. And one girl wrote me, and we met with uh, Yael together and uh, he invited me here and I was shocked really because like I even couldn't uh, like uh, imagine I, I will dance I will give some workshops it's like really really shocked for me and very fast Welke dansstijl geef je les? We will dance and dance today like afro uh, some fusion kizomba style mix with some my understandings of style uh, ja, yeah, it's like my own styles, like my main styles, I can say, like, I like that. So that's why I, I'm gonna show to all uh, students these styles, ja. Yeah. En uh, is het anders om les te geven aan een groep in Nederland dan dansers in Oekraïne? All things about art in the Netherlands are uh, more open and people with open mind, more with open souls. So it's a really a big difference be between Ukrainian Dancers, maybe not dancers, but people who visit dance classes. We are more close because uh, still we have some like uh, things like everyone judge everyone. <laughs> so we are like try we, we try to crush this system, but still we have that. And I really to be like I'm really happy to be here and teach some people here because like more like open mind, like they are more smiling, they're open, more open, like, so it's very easy to have classes here. Like you have back a lot of like energy, you're not spending, you're taking also, that's perfect. <laughs>